We are at Teotihuacan, and behind me is what is called the Moon Temple. Now the Aztecs discovered this place when they migrated to this area from their ancestral homeland, which was called Aztlan, or the Place of Whiteness. But nobody actually knows why it was called the Place of Whiteness. Perhaps tall mountains with snow? Unknown. But they discovered this place in ruins when they were on their way to develop what would later be called Tenochtitlan and is called now, present day, Mexico City. And you see these side pyramids and notice four levels. So obviously four was sacred to whoever the builders of this place were. And behind me, you can see, is what is called the Temple of the Sun. Now, the Aztecs again, on their migration from the north, named these places, but we have no idea who or what names the original builders gave them. What I'm going to be looking for are possible remnants of megalithic work, and that, hopefully, would help to let us find out if there were people here, builders, even before the construction of these m magnificent temples that we're looking at now. Uh, this is the temple of Quetzal in, in Teotihuacan, and this has been revealed by the Mexican archaeologists. Some of the colors that you can see were the kind of the original colors, and Quetzal was a very important bear a mystical bird, and in the center of this temple there was like a little lake uh, where the, the people, the priests, uh, were able to study uh, the stars. Yeah, so this is a celestial chamber. By looking at the reflection in the water, then they could see the positions of the stars. Now, many academics believe that it could have been the Toltec civilization that constructed Teotihuacan somewhere between 100 AD and then abandoned the area 600 AD. However, there are others that believe that the site is even older than that, possibly thousands of years older. But still, I'm looking to see if there's a true continuity in the way that these buildings were put together, or if there's also a megalithic component, like we see in places such as Peru and Bolivia and Why Egypt. Why the center of Teotihuacan in a place where only the Teotihuacan people used to attend, which is this center. And in this center that we're standing, um, the priests came and did the ceremony. Ah, and that's why it's also situated right in front of the Temple of the Moon. Again, the Temple of the Moon is a name given by the later Aztec people. We don't know what the original builders called it, whether the builders were the Toltec or somebody much older than Also, that. where I'm standing is the Oration Temple, if you want to call that. And it's from here that all major speeches of any kind were made. So another function or reason for the tiers, as in levels, on these smaller, if you want to call them pyramids, is so that the local people could, everyone could sit um, on a seat 
And here, the oration, whether it be political, social, warfare, or whatever. So, the acoustics were very important for the people being able to hear what the speaker had to say, but there may be more fundamental reasons for the acoustics as well. And we'll see if we can find out more as we explore the site. So originally, according to our guide, this was not the exterior, but this was. It was all covered in a type of stucco, and every single one of these buildings was actually red in color, which is different because in places like uh, Peru, for example, anything lunar or moon-related would be white, and anything red would be sun-related. So the entire city, ceremonial city, of Teotihuacan was supposedly red. This is the pyramid of the moon. It's a 48 meters tall than the sun pyramid. It's a 66 meters tall. Right here we have a 48 steps. Then the sun pyramid is at 240 steps to climb. Its shapes, it has a four bases. Uh, someone says the season of the year. Summer, autumn, spring, and winter. This is, there was, uh, the legend says it was a temple right on the top. Uh, inside was an idol, rock idol covered with gold. When the conquerors came, they destroyed that. They take the gold out. So, because for the indigenous from Titiwaka, that doesn't have any value, the gold, the metals. Right, gold was symbolic, but it didn't have a money value. And gold is symbolic of the sun in many cultures. This is the famous Avenue of the Dead. And it was called that by the Aztec as they were entering this place for the first time, stumbling over this huge abandoned ceremonial complex, they believed that the little pyramidal structures on either side were tombs, and therefore they called them, or they called this place uh, the Avenue of the Dead. But as far as I know, no uh, major discoveries of tombs on or in these little structures have been found. Uh, in this mural we can see uh, a jaguar, which was the protector of the land. And the red, the red lines that you can see is uh, represents the, the motherland or mother earth. And this was this jaguar was uh, protecting uh, the land after the the peasants work the land for protecting to have a good harvest. Likely. And the circles that we can see there was this stone jade also, but all of that were were taken by by the Spanish when they came here. Now this is kind of a strange transition because you see the somewhat crude stairway and then it transitions into that. It is possible that this stone, which is of a different nature than this stone, this could have been recycled from something else because it's much more refined. The surfaces are much more refined than here. And wherever the quarry for this stone is, it's uh, most likely not the same quarry where this came from. Well, here we have something quite interesting because those blocks on this side seem to be quite precise in terms 
of cutting. And uh, in comparison, the material on top is inferior. And it looks likely that the material on top was done after this work on the bottom. The staircase as well, it looks like there's no mortar in between the stones, quite precision joinery. So it could be that here we found at the temple of Quetzalcoatl, the plume serpent, evidence of an older culture here that uh, had advanced, more advanced techniques than the Toltec 